Hello and welcome back. So, as my son Alex and I enjoyed building the T-Rex so much, we decided to build the Stegosaurus as well. He actually got this for Christmas. Here you can see the full range of dinosaur kits, or at least part of the range anyway. It's noticeably smaller than the T-Rex, but there's still quite a few parts. Here you can see most of the parts go together uh, from two pieces. Got instructions and a bit of description in both English and Japanese. Triceratops was always my favourite dinosaur as a child, so very much looking forward to building this one with Alex. Here we see all moulded in grey. Head parts on here and some of the limbs and the rest of the limbs and the main body on here. First test fitted the parts without any glue. As I said in the T-Rex build, I recommend this as a really good kit for beginners. Not only are children interested in dinosaurs, uh, but it's uh, very big parts, so it's uh, quite easy to go together. However, it's not a snap tight kit, so you do need glue. This front limb here has got a little join point, which means you can leave it unglued and adjust it to pose the dinosaur in different positions. We're using Tamiya cements throughout this. Now the join seams have been left quite obvious, so we've been trying to sand those down once joining the parts together. Two largest parts here make the body and you can see the join quite clearly down the middle there. So after gluing it, it's always important to sand those edges. Here's the limb that can be posed into different positions. And all the other ones have got two pinpoints, really, really easy to assemble. Might be worth using a bit of sprue goo or something like that, maybe a bit of putty to uh, fill in some of these gaps, but um, Alex and I weren't too worried about those. Here you can see how it's posable. And then the head is made of two sections as well. And all three horns are separate, which is great, makes it easier to paint. I do you think it's a shame that the head is in two sections, as the joint is quite obvious down the centre? Tried to sand this down in advance to make the joint as smooth as possible.
can see the gaps where the horn goes in the nose and above the eyes. And you'll see how the lower jaw is part of the body. Now, rather than use the recommended Tamiya colors, Alex wanted to base the look on this Triceratops toy that he already had. So we used a mixture of Ravel sand for the upper body and a bit of Ravel matte black for the lower body. Also used some sort of uh, light gray for the horns and beak. Horns looked a little bit too pristine like this, so I did some weathering later on before finishing off. Made sure Alex got to do some painting as well. And then we dry brushed some black on to kind of blend between the two colors. Obviously, we don't really know what colour dinosaurs were. It's pretty unlikely that they looked like this, but um, you never know. Then use some oil stain from this weathering powder set just to uh, make the sandy uh, skin look a little bit more sort of tattered and torn. I like how it picks out some of the raised detail and uh, gives a sort of mottled effect to the uh, skin. There we are, all three horns in place. There does seem to be a correct and an incorrect way to do this. Adding to the eyes. And also adding some weathering powder to the horns themselves. There we have it, gluing his head on. Oh dear. Maybe need to hold it in place for a little bit first. So there's the original, and here's the new one. Really like this kit, just like the T-Rex from before. It's not very expensive, it's good for dinosaur mad people, also for kids. Let me know what you think, have you built any of these? And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.